Well, welcome to the Daily Devos in the Word of God. We are diving deep into the Word of God for the Word, the whole Word, and nothing but the Word. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We are now in Ephesians chapter 4, and we are reading the second verse. And Paul is, uh, in fact, let's, we're finishing the first verse. It says, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord exhort you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you were called. He says, I exhort you. Now, he first says, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord. This is a sta statement of humility. He's appealing to the saints of God. He's not lording it over them, even though he is their apostle. He humbles himself and says, I am but a prisoner of the Lord. And he says, I'm exhorting you, I'm admonishing you, I'm urging you to do what? To walk in a manner worthy of the calling. In other words, that your walk should match what God has already provided for you. And what has Christ provided for us? Well, we have to have looked at all the first three chapters of Ephesians to see what God has made available for us in Christ. But here's the main thing, is that Christ is now in you. You are in Christ. And so he says, walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you were called. What is that calling? It's a high calling. Paul says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Did you know that you are called? Even as a believer, you have a calling. I have a calling. And we're not talking about a ministry calling. We're not talking about a vocational calling. We're talking about the first and the most important calling every child of God has. And that is to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Our first calling is to be conformed to the image of Christ. And so he says, I exhort you, I admonish you, I urge you that now that you know what is available to you, now that you know what God has already done, now that you know the power that's available to you, which is like the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and sat him at his own right hand, far above principalities and powers, now that you know the love that God has for you, the width, the breadth, the depth and height and to know the love of God that surpasses. Now that you know all that God has made available for you, I'm asking you now that you walk it out, that you make you appropriate what God has made available and you walk out now what is already yours as your inheritance. That is Christ in you and you walk worthy of this calling. In other words, you don't come short of it. We don't disappoint God. We don't make it as, as if God wasted his time making all the sacrifice, sending Jesus Christ and so forth, that we walk worthy of this call. Fill in these big shoes. Glory to God. Fill in these shoes that God has given to us in Christ Jesus, which with, with which you were called. I wanted to have that thought today, that you and I have a high calling. Before we're called to anything else, we are called to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. This is what God is growing and raising all of us as believers to walk into so that we become those reflections of Jesus Christ on the earth that God has called us to be.